Listen, when I say today, it's so fitting to say warm world. Because as you can see behind me, and you'll see in a second, we have none other than the One Love poster because we have a special exclusive guest with us to hear us with today. What I can't talk. David Marvin, also known as Davo, from Kingston, Jamaica, recording artist, better known for Davo. He's a singer, rapper, instrumentalist, actor. And he portrayed his father, Junior Marvin, lead guitarist for Bob Marley and the Whalers. And we are talking to him today. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thank you. Nice to have you. Yeah, it's a blessing, you know? Good to it's see you. to be here. I started out with the linguistical issue because now I have to, I feel like I have to talk to you in Patwa. Mm -hmm. Like you, you're taking me home now, so I have to make sure I straighten up and I, and I, and I get it, it right. Yeah, man. You know, I just come back from Jamaica, actually. It was my birthday, what, a week, almost a week ago. Happy April belated. 12th, yeah. And it was carnival. How was yeah, carnival? I mean, that so happens that carnival is always around my birthday. <laughs> um, it was wicked, you know? It was, it was fun, you know? Jamaica's carnival is always. A different vibe, you know? Mm -hmm. Get the real Yardy vibes mixing with some soca music, you know? So. The, yeah, yeah. You got your little dance Jamaican, on. So, you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you, you got your little it's wine a on. Yard man, so you know the thing right there. Of course. Okay, so as, listen, as of today, right? Worldwide, One Love movie grossed in 177.1 million dollars. <laughs> So How does much. that feel to be part of such a legacy? Because we've waited so long for this movie to come out, yeah. and you're a part of it. You touched the fabric. What was that like? Well, I mean, you know, it's just a blessing for me and my family coming from a part of that lineage, um, my father, Junior Marvin, to be able to um, represent mm -hmm. with authenticity, you know, to bring more to the table as a... Um, you know, actor mm -hmm. to the film and to bring some, you know, some real stories to the table that we yeah. actually put a few things in some of the scripts. So it was a great just to be a part of it, you know, just right. to, for my family and everybody. And then to film it back home. What was what did that feel like? Because it's yeah. different when you see it on TV. But when you're back home, you're back in Jamaica and it's just. I mean, the heartbeats. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's the biggest production out of Jamaica ever. Right. So, to be a part of that as a Jamaican, you know, that's, I'm most proud for that. My, you know, my mom, my whole family, you know, uh, actually, my mom and my dad came with me to the premiere, so that was like a full circle for me. You know, I went to movie theaters that I used to go to as a child to watch mm -hmm. it. And, you know, I went to, when I was there filming, you know, I went to certain beaches I used to go to when I was a child, and, you know, I just had, like very emotional um, experiences, you know, yeah. just going back. Because I haven't been there, I mean, after, before the movie, it was like eight years probably. What? Because I've been just, I've been doing so much music in America. Yeah. I work with, you know, Tory Lanez, I've been on tour mm -hmm. with him and Drake and Chris Brown, these guys. And I've just been doing so much in America that I've never really been back to, actually I went, I went back mm -hmm. to Jamaica actually 2019 with Drake for Popcorns. On Fest. But, you know, it was just yeah. like a long time, really, that I got to spend time and go to, you know, like certain right. places and right. just feel back, you know, that full circle, like, yeah. wow, I come back and, you know, this is what I'm doing, you know, it's just a memorable experience, experience. Yeah, for man. you. So let's, you know what, let's take a look at the video and remind everyone. <laughs> I don't know, you know. My vibes still. Junior's been <laughs> recording with Stevie Wonder. Big shot, man. Skipper, why make you feel like the people are like this? Them don't have to like it. Them just have to hear it. And when they hear it, they will like it. Mm. All right. I agree, Bob. I think this could be very special. Where you born, Junior? Jamaican born, British raised. 
Chad Soul and rock and roll. Junior Marvin's in control. Rasta is in control. I love the lyrics, man. English boy are different, you know, man. No chains are on my feet, but I'm not free. I know I am bound here in captivity. It's one of my favorite lyrics from Catch a Fire. It's really good. Good. What can I hear you stand at? You know, look, you know, skip that. My girl, my girl. We just a joke with your brethren. What do you know about Rasta? Yeah, man, tell him to skip. Uh, you know your Bible? I know Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But mu music is my passion, Bob. For we, the music and the message are the same thing. Can't separate. Oh, man. It's I and I right to live in unity. Yes, man. Mm. This reggae music is the vehicle. And this album going to transmit the message to everybody upon the face of this earth today because they must unite. They yes, I do. Most of you, man. Yeah. You dig? What does that make you feel like? I, well, see, the, I, mean, I see the smile, I see the pride. <laughs> yeah, you know. What just, are you feeling? I just love seeing myself on TV, I guess. <laughs> 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 but, um, no, I mean, it's mm -hmm. great to, you know, Bob Marley, you know, he, he has changed the world with his music. Yeah. So it's about time, you know, the kids, the youth mm -hmm. of today get to see, like, you know, what made him like that type of person? Right. The person he is, or right. where he comes from, and the message behind the music. Like exactly, you know, Bob Marley was made half white, half black for a reason. You know, mm -hmm. it's because he was meant to bring people together. Exactly. You know, it's bigger than just the music and the vibration. Right. Your so Bob Marley message. Bob Marley said your dad was like a young Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. From London. When you did this movie, you had to play the electric guitar. Everyone said, I saw an interview and everyone was saying on set that you kept everybody going. Oh, yeah. And you had the energy. And, you know, walk me through that experience because it seems like you were the life of it. Yeah, well, you know, the guitar, I mean, everybody loves the, the, the rock star in the band. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the guitar to play uh, an actual real deal, like, you know, the big. Big shot, like, mm -hmm. um, that's not a joke. I mean, my dad was like, you know, usually the second star on stage when it comes to like highlights in, in a performance, he'll run out in the middle of the stage and run around the whole stage and he's pulling, you know what I'm saying? Pulling right. strings and spinning around and landing on his knees and stuff, you know, doing, he's playing the guitar and doing somersaults, like. It's a performance. There's not a lot of yeah. Jamaican, Reggae star, right. like um, guitars that you see flipping no. on, doing somersaults. Yeah. Ever. So, I mean, he's from London as well. So, I mean, he got that vibe from there, you know, where he was, you know, into rock. He, he was a rock star before he got with Bob. You Ooh! Know? <laughs> there, my so, dad. yeah. So, is that your brother? And now your brother? Yeah, my little brother, Rory. Okay, so Rory your little brother he's a was rapper as well. also, right? Oh, a part of. I got him as an extra in the film, yeah. So, there's uh -huh. actually a great shot of him in the movie. I could slow it down in a clip and you'll see he's there like in the crowd and he's like, he, he <laughs> has an afro on and he's smiling. So for him it was like, um, you know, a dream come true to even see me performing in the thing because like we mm -hmm. always wanted to see Bob Marley and my father perform, but you know, Bob passed. So right. it was like, that experience was like a full circle for us as a dream, just because it felt so real, you know? What advice did your father give you, though, for the movie? Did, what did he feel, what did he say to you when he found out? He was just like, oh, yeah, duh, like, when I called Duh! Him, <laughs> he was like, of course you got it, like, duh, like, he was like, you didn't have to even, I knew this was going to happen, right. but he was just like, you know, you're meant for this, you know, and um, I, he never really told me no advice. He was just like, yeah, go out and do your thing, man, like, you know what to do, like, you've been doing it. <laughs> really? Yeah, so, like, he never really gave me advice. Um, he came on set once, like midway mm -hmm. while shooting the film, and he was like, wow, uh, mm -hmm. I don't really got to tell you nothing. You're killing it. Like, you're doing, wow. Like, he was impressed. Like, you know, like, see, it's like seeing himself Yeah. when you see all, you know, the makeup and stuff they put, like, the mustache and uh, the, like, the wig. The wig. <laughs> so, you know, he's like, wow, man. Like, I'll call him on FaceTime sometimes on set, and he'll be like, what the heck? He's like, feels like I'm talking to myself, man. <laughs> like um, back in the days and stuff. Uh, so how yeah, did he you... taught me one move. 
Form teacher. You just like, oh, don't forget this one move I used to do. Right, or I run with the guitar. It's like the, it's almost like the skank. It, it, nah, it, it, he's like running with the guitar, like he. No, you know, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's running with the guitar, like literally, like doing a little bop, like. Uh huh. Like, yeah, you know, like you know what I'm saying? Like he's like he's. I don't know. Just it, you just say it. Your dad is a legend. You're yeah, walking no, in the feet of the there's no, legends. There's no guitarist ever. That yeah. you, you watch Bob Marley. If you ever seen Bob Marley live show, right? You, you'll see my father walling out with now, white pants or something like <laughs> some leather. And you're leather. coming from yeah. you're coming from such a legacy and such a lineage of music. Do you feel the pressure to have to? Live up to that now. I could, so you're out there now. Everybody know yeah. you're. Yeah, you feel like uh, you have to. I don't feel like there's no pressure for me. I mean, it's just so natural for me because you know I just been doing it, and um, I love it. So yeah, there's no pressure. I mean, I feel like with time, everything you know, people will realize who who I am, and they'll be like, oh damn, no one them so bad, no one them so <laughs> wicked, like no one them so bad. Cause I'm father Junior Marvin, I'm coming from that. Like you know, it's like when pop right. came, it was like oh, some music just I run through your veins. Like you know what I mean, like. It's a natural thing for me. I've been doing yeah. it since I was a little youth. It's you like know, I was born into music. Literally. And it's funny because talking to your talking to you now, I wouldn't say that you're somebody that live here in the U.S. I think say, so. oh man, I see you back in Kingston. I see you downtown. Yeah, yeah I get that most. And the culture is so enriched in you. Yeah, you know, I mean, I lived there till. I said this the other day um, on another interview. I lived there till I was ten years old. And the mm -hmm. thing about Jamaica, when you're ten, when you grow up to at least ten. You feel like you're already a grown up at yes. that time. Like my mindset hasn't changed since that. Because yes. it grew up so fast in Jamaica. You see yeah. everything. Like, you know, you could be in a nice part, but it's still right next to, you know what I mean? Right down the street. Uh, Trivali. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on the corner, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Not, not so let me ask. So be working with those guys and actually getting to work with the Marleys, what was that experience like? Because I know that they were on set. Um, well, Marley's are like family to me, mm -hmm. so growing up, I mean, they're like my big cousins. Yeah. I, mean, I always looked at them like my uncles and stuff. But, um, you know, it was just good for me to spend time because it's like, you know, a family, like, reunite type of vibe. Mm -hmm. And you just get to, like, you know, just a different vibe because we're working. But, you know, it, it was all love and happiness and laughter and um, good vibrations because when they see me, they couldn't just help but laughing right like, it's like they're looking <laughs> back in that time um you know they see me and it's like damn he's so good looking like, just like junior mm -hmm. and it's just funny because um you know how much i guess it reminds him of the real thing and it's just like damn well, i can't believe this guy who's just like your father yeah killing it you know so we always have good laughs and talk about different stories and stuff you know and you know they were here Oh, we can, yeah. They were here. We had them here Which a one? couple of years ago. Well, we're going to take a short break, and okay. I'll come back and I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, Don't right. go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back with so much more right after this. Welcome back to the show. We're still here with Davo, and we are chopping it up. Before we went to commercial, we were talking about 
the Marleys and Joe Mercer was here. You were just yeah, down in Jamaica. In, yeah, rest in peace, my brother Joe, man. Um, Joe Mercer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he was at the Nine Mile um, thing for his birthday. And, yeah. you know, all the family was there. YG, my brother Lauren Hill was there, you know. A bunch mm -hmm. of people were there to celebrate his life, you know, right at Bob's birthplace, you know. And, yeah. Um, yeah, man, it was, you know, he was, he was always a great brother. Uh, I remember I used to go to his dad's house and hit with his um, cousins, Bam Bata Marley and um, Ro Jesse Royal and him and yeah. him in the studio. And he was always just making the beats and we would be making beats and he'll just be like, nah, man, this, like he was, in, he was like the general, like he always wanted to be in charge uh -huh. and he was definitely on board with every, all the gear, you know? Full of life. It's like his dad, like Steve, yeah. you know? <laughs> he, was, uh, he was just on the boards, like going at it. He, I, I'd never seen him move from the table, actually. He was just be making beats all night till, till ready for cut, he's still there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why he was so driven. He was a big inspiration. And he's a little brother to me too, so you know, mm -hmm. looking up to him so young, going so hard, it's just like, it's always inspirational, you know. Well, that you have family. the baton now, so you can carry it on. Yeah, man, you know, it's a yeah. you know, it's a family, one love family. You know, we all do the same thing. You know, it's about spreading your so, message. So aside from doing all that, being a mega star actor now, because I'm just gonna say that's what it is. I mean, box office, you can't give me a dollar later, <laughs> but um. <laughs> <laughs> That's another conversation. But you have your own music. So you have worked with some of the greatest, right? You work with Tory Lanez, Rick Ross, Fabulous. I think I saw yeah, Chris fabulous. Brown, Drake. And the list goes on and on and on. So you describe your music. Now you have to help me with this. You describe your music as beautifully dark, trippy, twisted fantasy that offers a psychedelic experience. Now, what the hell is that? I mean, that? I don't know. I, at that time, I probably, that was just uh, the vibe. <laughs> I make, I mean, like you said, it's beautiful, but I, I, I make very, you know? Yeah. I'm being music as well, but I make all kinds of music. I'm just an international. I mean, in Jamaica, they asked me three words mm -hmm. that I explain my music, and I said international psychedelic R&B. But it's like, that's all mixed with hip hop and right. Jamaican and, and everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It could be dark, it could be beautiful, it could be, but it's just a sound, you know? Right. So at the end of the day, my music speaks many, you know, many colors and volumes and vibes. Very the, vibey. And you're you know, vibey. Just like Jamaica. I'm, I'm Dave, oh, wave, oh, wave, Dave, you know? From the islands to everything wavy, you know, just like the music, you know what I mean? That's how my music sounds. I, I feel like I'm ultra. wavy now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole... Like, you, know, you know, you step on a yacht and you get off and you're still up. Man, After look, a whole day, it's like, yo, that is all my music. That's how I feel Isn't now. It? I feel wavy. That is it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so do you think you'll ever go back to... So your roots is obviously reggae. It's obviously the music. It's obviously the beat. Do you think you'll ever come out with maybe a reggae... Album, would you? Yeah, of course. Um, okay. That's my goal, to be honest, is to get back into just like more reggae. Okay. But, you know, I want to transition from what I've been going through. Like, right. it's like my life, you know, you get to see me evolve musically. Mm -hmm. And that's just like where I'm at or where, what, I'm, what I've come from. So, you know, growing up, I started out reggae dance hall. But, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, I was, I was always rapping. So it's like, you know, I wanted to get more into R&B, and I feel like R&B, I just have a niche. So I, I cross over everything. I mix it all right. together, you know? I'm mixing up, probably get a little bit of everything. But I'm definitely going to transition. I mean, reggae is the music forever. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be my number one, but you know? So who do you want to, not who you've had, nobody that you've had, who do you want to collaborate with? Who would? Who's still on your wish list? Um... I hope to collaborate with Young Thug one day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Young Thug, I feel like Young Thug, to me, musically, mm -hmm. he, I would consider him like the Bob Marley of hip hop. Really? Yeah, because like the the vibes that he gives. I mean, Young Thug does all kind of vibes. Like he got music that like I feel like will live on forever in hip hop. Yeah, he has a I, different his style vibe. Is, he's, he's one of the most influential um, artists of this last generation. Young Thug? Yeah, of course. Okay. Young Thug and Future are the top in hip-hop to me. Okay. 
I mean, I when it comes to that. style in music. Well, Future, yeah. Future, definitely. Young well, Thug, yeah. I feel like Young Thug, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> number, I'm just saying, Young Thug's number one to me, man. And I love Future. Future is yeah. up there with me. I'm just saying, Young Thug for me personally. You, did you plan on doing any more movies? Um, yeah, of course. That's my thing, man. I, I, like, you know, artists like Snoop Dogg and Tupac. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've always been, you know, most influential artist to me because, like, Ice Cube, they make movies and especially make Ice great Cube music. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but Tupac for me, number one. Tupac, I mean, definitely. Think, yeah, it started from Michael Jackson for me as a kid. You know, he made a movie Moonwalk, and I was just like, we all thought we could do the Moonwalk. Yeah, but they, did you see the movie Moonwalk? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. when I was a kid and I seen that movie, I was like, I want to make movies. I don't want to just sing and rap and. Oh, yeah, I, so I want to make movies like this guy. This I guy. was a big Michael Jackson fan. Yeah. I had the whole Billie Jean I when I came biggest. to the U.S. Not like you know, me. No, nah, trust I me. I had I trust me. No, nah, there's no way. I, I'm telling you right now. You no, know, I go back and forth. No, I'm not me. I tell you. Hola, 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 hola. I'm like a poster. You remember the Billie Jean poster? That used to be over my bed. Yeah, well. I, I got used to sleep you. with my Michael Jackson albums. <laughs> Gwe, Billie like Jean, Billie arm. Jean, remember Billie Jean, how the floor used to dance yeah. on the different colors? You couldn't tell me I wasn't in moves. that. I took my church shoes and ripped off the little, Go on. little piece, then I make my high walk, you know what no. I'm saying? Look like, say, I really no, look. remember the Beat It jacket, That's remember me. the red jacket? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, had the, I had the glove, I was... Why you so, Why? <laughs> like, I was doing, I was so... <laughs> I'm like nobody. Like, I'm telling you. No, I'm, I'm telling you. Real Michael Jackson, like. I'm fanatic. telling you. I even as, like as a fan of anybody. Yeah. Michael Jackson is number one for me. Absolutely, the Jerry Curl, everything. Woo! I mean, I feel like me Michael nothing. is like my spirit animal. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I feel mm -hmm. like I'm like him. I'm just like the the Jamaican wavy. You know, Mike Jack is in. You have now. to put the wavy, the wavy, <laughs> the wavy, <laughs> the wavy is in it. Michael, that, that dude, man, I love Michael. So, where, what's your next stop? Where, where to next? Because you just came back from Jamaica. You spent quite a while oh, in Jamaica. Where? Yeah. Um, well, I gotta go back to Jamaica very soon, but um, I feel I think London. I might have to go to London. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to tap back in with some of my Londoners and family and everything. Um, yeah, my mm -hmm. grandmother's over there. She's 104. She just turned 104. My Your dad, grandmother? My dad's mom, yeah. What? Yeah, well, you know, Jamaicans, they you know, we live for long, you know, because we, we live by the herbs that, mm -hmm. you know, like they say in the Bible, you know, the herbs is what bless us and keep us stronger. And a lot of people cancer don't. and all them things. Yeah. Like, people think cancer is a... Everybody's born with cancer cells. Right, You know right. what I'm saying? It's just up to you if you stress over certain things and then you... Mm -hmm. You catch certain things, you know? And I think a, a lot of people don't realize back home in Jamaica... Herbs are the healing of the nation. Everything. Every, every disease that you can think of that's here in the U.S., we it's have something for it. a way of, yeah. of, of living that. Woman, there's a yeah. woman I just posted on my Instagram, I think yesterday, 104 mm -hmm. to one years old. Mm -hmm. She move and talk more, like, you know, upbeat mm -hmm. than people that are 20, in their 20s. It's true. And she's talking like, you're like, whoa. That's true. How old is lady for real? She's 141, you know what I mean? That's she, true. She farms and she, you know? Yeah. She she, she prays John the Moonlight. <laughs> so let me so let me ask you. You came back from came back from Jamaica recently. You're gonna go back again, obviously. Do you I know you wanna do an album soon. Who in Jamaica would you want to record with? What artists? Um, I actually just did a song with Sarani. Okay. Um, he's a legend to me. And, you know, and all of the legends, um, I'm very connected with a lot of Jamaican artists too, like family. Because, mm -hmm. you know, like Sharon Burke, I don't know, you know, Sharon Burke is my auntie, you know what I mean? And like, mm -hmm. like my father and everybody, like we know everybody basically. So, like, I want to work, with, I'm going to work with Bounty Killer, who is my mm -hmm. like, number one artist ever, probably out of Jamaica. Um, Sean Paul, he, you know, of he's course. connected to like my family cousins and stuff like that. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, man, who would I want to work with now in Jamaica? Okay. I mean, I probably want to work with like Kraft, um, like uh, um, Valiant, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I love Valiant. You know, I work with a bunch of people there already, but yeah. But man, that's Definitely that's a your... lot of new stuff coming, you know? Yeah. Um, so you, you are you familiar with what's going on with Vibe Partel? Vibes? Yeah. Well, I mean... There's always some news advice. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I hear he might get out. 
is married to this lady and I don't know what's going on. What's yeah, it's kind of it's kind of everywhere. But at this point, with everything, with all the success, everything that you've done with the movie and your music that's out now, that next step for you is so you just finished an album. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. I've, I've been putting together a lot of music. I have a lot of music. Mm -hmm. I just haven't put out some in the last couple of years because we focus on the movie and everything. You gave it a break, I heard. I mean, if I'm getting into like a legendary movie, I'm playing mm -hmm. a lead role. I had a lot of, you know, there's a lot of work. Did you it? You don't have much time to be. I mean, no. to do both at the same time and really get the job done like right. the way you're supposed to be. But did it well. help you with your music now? Is the mindset different now that you've played this of mega course, role? Of course, I mean, I'm, I'm more, you know, I'm in a different space. Okay. You know, a lot of a lot of things have been coming to me. You know, God mm -hmm. blesses me. You know, the more work you put in, God will meet you halfway. So, right. you know, a lot of things come into play. Right. After doing such a ma major <laughs> film, you know, playing my father, a, leg a legend in a legacy role. In legendary, most legendary movie, I would say. That would next change. Next to who? I mean, yeah. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson got one coming out next year, but. And we waited for it for so long, and here you are. Well, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much. We're gonna keep watching. Oh yeah, and um, I got some new music coming out as well. Okay, and we're gonna be definitely looking. I just dropped looking. one actually, like a couple of weeks ago, on the run. On the run, sure, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, but we got to get on the run out of here. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Make sure you download it. Check it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Yes. You Bye, y'all. I'm not a team. <laughs> I almost left that out.